gentlemen, brothers, sisters, friends, comrades on YouTube, to my family and the love of my life. There go my heroes. These guys are taking care of me. They come out with a fire extinguisher because I'm doing a regen on this truck. And it's not because I thought, wow, what a good time to do it. It was just that it says it on the dashboard that it's time for a regen because the soot level is high in the whole you know DEF system so it demands that a regen happens and I have to set it and so forth and so I did that and this thing went to smoking Woohoo! it was smoking something fierce and these guys were like they were staring at me from where I just showed you them going in and so two of them start walking out to me and one of them has a fire extinguisher the third guy he comes out the back they're looking for that and they're like dude what is going on with this truck <laughs> but they got a little bit nervous about it but it's okay it's just doing a regen and i'm here in uh farmington new york this is the headquarters man this is where it all goes down right here all their trucks look like this you know what i mean so it's like I'm the oddball out for sure. I'm the only blue truck, really Peterbilt in the fleet right here uh, by today's standards. So uh, I know it's loud, but it is what it is. The cockpit, my beautiful ice chest, man. Between, I'll tell you what, between this deal right here and that ice chest, my life's good. I'm telling you what, we're in good shape. But yeah, so this is a Farmington, uh, New York headquarters. And uh, all these trucks right here are assigned to drivers and they're either gone home or some of these cats might even be sleeping in them. Uh, that is, that whole world right there is where it's at. That's the mechanic shops, that's the wash bays right there, which I wish I would have done yesterday, but it was raining all day. So I couldn't really do that. And then uh, right through, there's a door right there below that pipe in the corner that you can see. Um, you go in through that door and then that's where all the, all the action happens, right in that area right there. So, yeah, it was lovely. It was lovely. I met a lot of people. I can't even remember all their names, man, because it's like, I don't live here. I don't work here. I'm not out of this yard, etc. So it's hard for me to uh, remember everybody's name. But um, I did meet Madison Pfeiffer, which was really cool. Sophia was fantastic. Kyle Johnson, who is the CFO of the company and part of the uh, Johnson ownership group, the family that owns this company. Uh, cool dude, man. I told him, I said, dude, this is a great company. We were chit chatting. I said, this is a great company and uh I, I really do like it and he says well the second you think it's not a great company i expect a phone call <laughs> so that was kind of cool that he said that man he was he was a cool dude man we we rapped for a little while there's another lovely lady forgive me i can't remember her name i've seen her on the leonard's express leading the way podcast and i just i man i met so many people forgive me i don't recall what her name is your name is sorry so, uh, but yeah, it was really, really cool. Uh, Sophia was incredibly helpful. She's, she was the receptionist at the front desk inside the main office. And uh, she was like, oh, let me go get this person and let me go get that person. I'll, I'll, let me check if she's here, blah, blah, blah. You know, she was just super helpful. So I appreciate her. Uh, we really, we really, uh, I, I felt ex like, I, like I had an extremely warm welcome. Uh, at this place and so I was plenty happy with it and I'm glad I did it and I hope I get back here sometime you know these people are so cool they're just the coolest I uh, met a lot of people here uh, Tyler was another one he's a recruiter at this place uh, he's a nice guy so we chit chat with him for a little bit I told everybody a little bit about my background in the schools and so forth and yeah everybody was great man it was just a wonderful stay here I really appreciate being here and I really appreciate being part of this company. It's a really, really good company, Leonard's Express, man. 
y'all are looking for you know a place to call home and you got a CDL I don't see why you wouldn't look here at least in the top three of where you want to go um, and what makes sense for you I mean as, as a truck driver a CDL holder I get all that um, you know it's, it's got to feel good to you it's got to feel right to you but I'm here to tell you this place this is such a good company on a lot of aspects I mean uh, I had six shocks replaced uh, this weekend because I had mentioned that this thing just it was riding hard man it was it was riding real hard and so in Caldwell they changed uh, a bar underneath the suspension and that helped that that did help but it was still a little rough and, and uh, then I had a leaking shock that these folks had just put on and I was the clutch van. The clutch van just came on on a truck. I hope you can still hear me. I know you can, but anyway, so uh, uh, the shocks they put on a few weeks ago, they one of them already started leaking again. So that's I got those replaced, and then I did a pre-trip this morning. Oh boy, one of the brothers forgot to tighten down a nut. Damn it. So. Um, I had to have them all looked at again, <laughs> all six. There was only one uh, nut that wasn't tightened onto the bolt, but it was like not even close. It was way down at the end of the bolt. So uh, I had to have uh, I had to have a brother check it out and redo it, so or tighten it down to begin with. So we got that taken care of, and then uh, the same the same crew here it's a skeleton crew here there's only three guys here today and uh they seen this truck smoking man and they were like this thing's on fire <laughs> so they came out to check it out but it was all good it's it's still doing its regen right now i'm glad i had it here instead of somewhere down the road because uh once that comes on you need to get on it so or it'll if i'm not mistaken it'll shut the truck down if there's a high soot level and you don't do a regen on it it'll shut it down so I had to take care of it snappy so I did that these guys were severely concerned and I bless their hearts for it they helped me out twice today already so now I'm starting to pick up a name with these mechanics you know so I don't know if that's good or bad but anyway um, no need to swivel here man I, this is like this is comfort land right here. I'm in good shape, no swivel. I didn't even lock the truck, keys were in it because they don't have any Peterbilts in this yard. These are all internationals, freight liners, KWs, and that's about it. That's, that's what they have in New York. They don't have Peterbilts here. They didn't have any keys or anything. So they asked me, please leave the keys in it so that when we get to go to fix it and looking at it, we'll already have what we need to take care of it. So talk about not swiveling. These folks were all over and take good care of me. That's what we do. So, uh, hey, thanks for coming along. I do appreciate it. Your boy, Clydesdale, you know who love you. We're running Leonard's Express. And we're happy about it, let me tell you. I'm in New York, I'm on my way home, man. City of industry, I'm on my way. I'm gonna be getting a load out of here and leaving here in about one half of an hour. And then uh, on my way back to Cali with this on the door. How about that? You know who love you, it's your boy Clydesdale. Have a great rest of your weekend. Peace!